Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone, welcome out here to Keystone State Park. We're right outside of Derry, Pennsylvania, Greensburg, Latrobe, any way you put it, we're east of Pittsburgh. Anyway, we're here by the lakeside here at the beach and it's one of my favorite places here. This is a great place for summer beach goers to swim, to picnic, camp on the other side of the lake if you want anyway. But the main attraction here, no surprise, is the lake. This is great for boating, for fishing, for swimming, you name it. There's actually a person out there on a kayak right now. And on the other side of the lake there were people fishing. And when I tell you this park is for everyone, I mean it's for everyone. If you're not so much into the lake, they have plenty of trails here you can hike. They have camping areas on the other side of the lake. You can camp right by the water side here, or you can camp up on top of the hill. They have an amphitheater here. They have a visitor center. The park office is right across the street from here where I already got my stamp placed into my book. And I'm um, very happy for that. I happened to run into a park ranger as I pulled into the park and, lot, and he was more than happy to uh, stamp the book for me. So we already have that. And well, when I say this is for everyone, I literally mean everyone. This is very handicap friendly. Uh, they have trails that are handicap friendly. They have handicap accessible fishing areas. And actually this is the first park in PA to offer those amenities for those that are disabled. And uh, it's very nice because on the other side of the lake by the camping areas, there's a handicapped parking lot only with a paved uh, trail right to the water. It's very short. So those with disabilities can enjoy fishing like you and me. And if that's not so much your thing to fish, you can come here to the beach side. It's very easy to get here. You have this paved walkway. You have a lot of grassy areas. You have the concessions and you have this washroom and bathroom full hookup. With the camping areas, you've got full hookups there. You can bring your own camper, RV, trailer. You can put a tent up if you'd like to, or you can rent uh, cottages, cabins, you name it. It's very nice here. And they have a playground right here for the kids. They also have designated smoking areas as well. You may have heard me in the past say, I don't like smoke. I don't like cigarette smoke. I don't smoke. It makes me sick. So I like that they made designated areas here as to not disturb people that might not enjoy the smell of cigarette smoke. But that's not to say that they can't enjoy it either. People that smoke cigarettes can. But this is a very nice park. They have plenty of picnic tables, plenty of picnic pavilions here. A lot of people have graduation parties, wedding receptions, family reunions, you name it. You can do all of that here. And I thought I'd read to you guys uh, the highlights of Keystone State Park right here. Camping, modern cabins, trails, a lake, and a swimming beach provide for an ideal setting for a summer outing. A marsh at the eastern end of the lake featuring a wildlife observation deck is a great place to see wetland wildlife. Keystone offers year-round environmental education programs and is located within easy driving distance from Pittsburgh. Now when we head out here we take Route 22 and it's just a three and a half mile drive right off of US 22 and uh, it's, it's very scenic out here. You go through a lot of countryside and it gives you a little bit of escape from the city life I guess you could say without having to go very far and on a Saturday morning like this it's very peaceful it's very quiet I just watched a blue jay just go flying across the field over here so anyway let's go show you around Keystone State Park sure is a foggy morning today Here we are, Keystone State Park.
obviously somebody's having a party today. Fish just jumped out of the water. What a beautiful morning here. a nice night to go camping. Very cool. They do allow camping here. Welcome to Keystone. They even have maps here too. Campground registration, maps, everything you need. So now I'm on the other side of this dam and the lake is right here. And as you can see, it spills over, trickles its way through here. And then you can hear a little bit of a waterfall right back there. I like how even just this little bit of water right here is enough to create fog. It is a chilly morning. It's in the upper 50s right now. And I know this water is warmer than that. As I mentioned, it's in the upper 50s, and you see all the fog or steam coming from this water. And on a morning like this, this actually feels good. It's quite warm. I like it. But now that we've seen this waterfall from this side, I want to get over there and show it to you from that side.
when I say this state park is handicap accessible, I mean it. Not only do you have a parking spot here, you have a walkway that takes you right to the water where you can fish. And they even made this little memorial plaque here for Harry Miller. He was the founder and president of the PA Sportsman for the Disabled. Through his efforts to better the lives of the disabled by providing shoreline enhancement areas throughout Pennsylvania state parks. Shoreline enhancement is an economical concept which opens with dignity large areas of water to those anglers with disabilities. The original concept was developed right here at Keystone State Park. With its success, shoreline enhancement seems destined to open new frontiers to physically challenged anglers everywhere. And if we walk down here, you could just see the areas here where people can fish. Look at that sunrise through the fog. We're here at the James A. Kell Visitor Center. Obviously, it's 7 in the morning. They're not open yet. No mo. Milkweed zone. Imagine all the butterflies that'll be out here later. And in the evening, bats. This is a haven for bats. sun rises through the fog to start off another beautiful day here at the park and within hours this place will be packed full of people enjoying a summer day here at the lake having a picnic camping you name it talk about being in the right place at the right time. I was just heading over here to the beach area and uh, the park office is right across the street. Now with it being as early as it is, the park office obviously isn't open yet anyway, or at least I don't think it is. However, when I pulled into the parking lot, I actually ran into a park ranger. He was very nice. It was back there across the street and he was able to stamp my books. And now we have our stamp for Keystone State Park. So that works out, so we already have that done. I know some parks have stampers and they can do it for you, or they have stickers like as we had seen at Raccoon Creek State Park. But anyway, he stamped that for me. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, oh, we got that in. Anyway, now that we're at the beach, my favorite place, let's take a look out here and see how it looks this morning. It's a beautiful morning. You have a kayaker out there on the water. Just look at all that fog. In an effort to keep this park for everybody, for everybody to enjoy it, they have designated smoking areas. They have plenty of picnic tables here, and you're right next to the beach, and I like that. You see, I'm not one to smoke cigarettes. I don't like smoking. If you do, hey, that's okay. That's all you. I just don't like it. It makes me sick, and I don't like the smell of it, and that's one thing I really wouldn't care for is being here at the park 
and smelling that cigarette smoke making my stomach upset. So I like that they make designated areas so people that don't want to be near it can enjoy the park and people that do smoke can still enjoy the park as well. This is one nice park. Handicap friendly, accessible to everybody. Lots of trails, lots of waterside attractions like this. I'm not going to step in that because it looks awfully mushy this morning. <laughs> but you get the idea. And at this beach, you see all this grassy area here to enjoy. And they have washrooms, restrooms. They even have a playground for the kids. The kids and all of us, anyway. Yeah, I would want to go on there with Kayla and have a good time going down a slide. Of course, though, my fat butt would break the slide or I'd get stuck on it. <laughs> now, though you might not see them here, this lake is great for fishing and you might not be able to see them on camera but there's little fish swimming all around here they kind of swam away however when I got closer but there's little guppies or minnows all swimming around here and right there I wonder is that a snail you see that shell in the water there just kind of doing its thing. <laughs> Almost looks like a hermit crab. But it's moving along, doing its thing, enjoying a beautiful Saturday morning. just absolutely beautiful out here the water is completely calm or as I say slick cam at Ocracoke Brogue <laughs> Now, as you watch my shadow on the pavement here, this walkway takes us back to where we were just a little bit ago. That picnic pavilion up ahead, we were nearby that. There's a kid on a quad. He's going around the park cleaning up, picking up trash. But yeah, here we are again at the picnic grove area where we were up on the road, up that way. At the washroom slash concession area, you'll find information about camping here. Now, if you want to bring your camper, an RV, they do have hookups, they have electric hookups, everything. You can bring your own camper, RV, or you can rent a cabin or a yurt. I've seen a bunch of these. These look pretty sweet. Modern cabins and cottages. And they're right across the lake from here too. They're right over there where I was earlier where you have plenty of other campers. Let's zoom in. People fishing and enjoying a beautiful Saturday morning. If you're out at the beach, they offer beach shelters as well. These little canopies you can rent for $5 for four hours or five to eight hours for $10. Not bad. And this breaks my heart. It is the last weekend of summer when I'm here. And I mean, let's be honest here. It's going to be 84 degrees today. I would definitely take a dip into the water. I know they're required to post no swimming starting September 6th, but me being me, I would go in there anyway until I got yelled at and was told to get out of the water. <laughs> 
I mean, the water's plenty warm enough. And as you can see, this water's so calm. It's not like the ocean or Lake Erie where the water could be rough. Riptides can pull you out into the water further and get you in some trouble here. I think it would be okay. Even if you went in waist deep, I think you would be okay. Driving along this road, it'll actually take you across this little dam where the lake basically ends. And we'll step out and I'll show you this as well. If you visit Keystone State Park, there's a good chance that you will spot eagles here. Bald eagles, vultures, osprey, you name it. There's that kayaker I told you about. He's out there fishing right now. Throughout the park, you'll see little information stands like this where they have maps of the park. And you'll also find little bags here for uh, cleaning up after your dog. It is a pet-friendly park. It's, it's a great place for everybody. But anyway, what are we waiting for? Let's go across that bridge over there and check out the water.
pretty cool being level with the water. I'm sure this is prone to flooding where I'm standing. It is a nice little picnic area though. You have your own little picnic table, little picnic area, all to yourself right here. Right at the end of this trail. Probably a really good area for fishing too. And then there's also another trail that goes up that way there. Okay everyone. It's about time for me to head on out of here. I have to go pick up Kayla from work anyway. So, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed Keystone State Park. It was a lot of fun for me to come here and put this video together with you guys. And, uh, I, well, I hope that I made you feel like you were here in a way. This is a wonderful park, as I had mentioned. Great for just about anything from swimming, biking, hiking, fishing, kayaking, whatever. You can camp here have a picnic here, and you're not too far away from businesses on Route 22 and Route 30, so you can always grab a snack or something to eat. Just make sure you clean up after yourself before you leave. Leave no trace. Leave this park beautiful. Remember, lots of wildlife call this place home. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. This was a fun time, and, uh, well, it, it's a shame that Kayla couldn't be here because she's at work. Um, but I'm glad to have you guys with me here, and she'll be with me for the next uh, adventure at a state park anyway. Even if she doesn't want to be on camera, her company's always appreciated. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're in the Pittsburgh area, remember this is just a short drive east on Route 22, probably about 45, 50 minutes from town. But anyway, I'm heading off. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, stay awesome, and have a Keystone State Park. Let's just stay on Kayla's behalf.